Don't get your visa without that. Is you got a visa refusal because of one small mistake for my financial document. So hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Living a Little. So today I'm back with another informational video. I know it's been a long. I have been sharing fun videos. If you guys haven't watched those fun videos, go check out. I have created videos in Hindi as well as in English. I'm just trying to figure out my target audience. I would be creating videos in both the languages. Guys, funny story. I just realized after recording all the documents, I have not tapped the record button, and I have actually not recorded anything from past fifteen minutes. So. <laughs> Let's go again. So let's discuss the documents required for visa. I know there are a heck number of documents that you need to keep record of when you apply for student visa here in Ireland. I have struggled a lot, and I did a mistake. I did a financial document mistake, and I had to struggle for almost one month get my visa sorted. So I'm here to help you guys, so you don't do these mistakes, and you know get your visa sorted. And I have been you know struggling and writing these what documents have been required, and I have so many things sorted here so that you know I can tell you guys, and you don't miss on anything. And guys, I know you don't watch my video till the end. My informational videos always have a good tip that can either save you hundreds or thousands of euros, or you can. actually not miss on something like in case of visa if you don't do that i think i'm sure you will not be able to get your visa sorted for ireland so make sure you watch the video till the end and let's get started so the ideal time to apply for your visa for ireland is from 8 to 12 weeks from your start of your course date so now let's talk about all the documents that are being required So the first and the foremost thing is printed and signed summary of your online application form. I'm going to drop a link in the description below. So whatever things I'm going to talk talk about, it'll be in the form of a checklist. So don't worry about that. But listen to what might be helpful for you, and you might not want to miss on to avoid this confusion for your visa refusal, and that will help you a lot. And the second one would be you need to have passport size photographs. Recommendable is two to three, but I would suggest get some more because here in Ireland it's expensive. Though you don't need passport size photographs really for anything, but it's always good to get because it's very expensive here. And the next one is PCC, which is Police Clearance Certificate. A lot of you make mistakes while applying for Police Clearance Certificate. A lot of people has to reapply, so I will drop a short. screenshot of what has to be uh, what has to be added on your pcc when you apply for ireland visa so how you apply for pcc is you go to passport website for india and then you book an appointment and by walk in you get your pcc next one is you would have a non refundable visa application fees when we applied it was around 7 7000 rupees and i guess it has increased from 17000 now so it varies from time to time but yes you need to have You need to apply for visa, and that application fees is non-refundable. And the next one is letter of offer from your universities. For when you apply to college or any universities, you receive a offer letter, and then you sometimes have to pay initial amount to reserve your seat. So I had to pay almost five hundred euros. It could vary from universities or colleges. So you need to attach your letter of offer as well as the initial payment. And once you make the final payment from your college or universities, like the full tuition fees, if you have paid, you need to have the fee receipt, and you need to have a swift copy. So what happens is, for international payment, you receive a swift copy from the bank as well as university. So make sure you attach fee receipt as well as swift copy. Whatever the documents you can receive for. confirmation of your payments you need to attach those next one is medical insurance uh, for medical insurance for medical insurance uh, it will be a one year of insurance it should cover one year and it, you can either take from ireland or from india for india people usually take bajaj and for here it would be study and protect the link will be in the description below and the next one would be your immigration history if you have any visa refusal or if you have any history which you think you should uh, attest to your visa you should definitely do that or if you want you can discuss with your counselor what all needs to be done and guys a lot of you have been asking what course to choose what universities whether the job market is good or if there are any other countries so guys i have a recommendation 
for you if you are not in the right direction and if you want to seek any professional advice you can reach out to my counselor and i can totally assure because he helped me in choosing ireland though i have done my initial research but i always needed some guidance whether the country is suitable for me or not so he has suggested me based on the course i chose so if you have any friends, I recommend going through the counselor and seek some professional advice that would help you a lot. So go go check out the link in the description if you want to seek any. So go check out the link. So go check out the link in the description below if you want any help with your study abroad and whatever this visa checklist, he can help you with that as well. Like you don't really have to struggle. And guys, this is free of cost. If you don't want to struggle for anything, go register for that come is your statement of purpose so statement of purpose is basically you justify why you chose this country why that course why university or this college what's your long-term goal so it's like you just need to justify a few questions there and if you don't know how to write a statement of purpose i will drop a link to various samples you can go read out those and you can write on your own trust me it's a very basic english thing you need to write you don't really have to pay a lot of consoles they charge seven thousand or five thousand rupees for sop i would recommend write on your own just read three to five sample sops next one is your resume either you're a fresher or you have a like work experience you need to write your resume just write a simple resume follow resume format and add your resume details and the next one is work experience if you have any prior work experience make sure you add those work experience you need to attach your pay slips with your bank statement at least for three months i applied for six months so i assume the ideal would be six months and make sure your appointment letter which is your offer letter and your work experience letter includes the contact of person the employer details like somebody should have a phone number and their email address next come is your academics in academics you need to have your 10th mark sheet and certificates 12th mark sheet and certificates if you have done a bachelor's degree uh, you need to have your provisional degree letter and all your documents from semester 1 to semester 8 or 6 whatever you have so for applying for master's degree here in Ireland, ideally you should have complete 16 years of education. So that's the ideal time, like total 16 years of education you should have done. So make sure you sort on all your documents for your academics. And the next one is your IELTS score. So you need to, so you need to apply for IELTS exam. Uh, it is valid for two years. So it's now coming to the point of what's four most important things you need to apply for your visa and you won't get your visa without that is your passport. So if you don't have your passport, you cannot apply for a visa. That's very common sense. But yes, wait, wait, wait. I still have some important information that was just for fun. So there are a few things that you need to consider to apply for your financial documents and people always uh, get visa refu refusal because of these financial documents. So let me try to explain this in short and then I'll create a detailed video about financial document because trust me, I would have almost got a visa refusal because of one small mistake for my financial document. So, so the first thing about financial documents is funds. You need to show funds. First one is first year tuition fee and then living expense for one year. That comes around let's take ideally to be 10,000 euros for funds are not six months old you need to show some genuine source from where that funds is coming to your account or your sponsor account it would be affidavit of sponsor or stamp of paper whosoever is sponsoring your study abroad you need to have an affidavit for that one as well bank statement and bank certificate that has the bank stamp as well as bank signature and bank loan sanction letter you need to if so if you are taking a bank loan you need to show bank loan sanction letter as well have loan disbursements letter that shows that you will be taking a certain or full amount loan as well next one is if you are showing funds for pf ppf gpf etc you need to show some official letter that explain those letters from your sponsors as well LAC policies are also acceptable and if you are if you have a sponsor you need to show ITR for three years income tax return for last three years any other financial document whatever that the that is specifying your funds for your study abroad it can be mutual fund it can be anything it can be property related it can be bank statements so make sure you add those so we'll talk about these details later in the next video you need to have a financial summary when you are sum submitting your financial document that depicts what all documents you are submitting and how much that will be covering so that that is almost like a cover letter that explains what all financial is a covering letter that is like you explain 
so these were all the documents and the covering letter explain okay what all documents you have why what all things you have submitted that's almost a summary for a for a visa officer so that's really it this covers all your visa checklist i hope this video helps you a lot the detailed checklist is in the description below make sure you check out and guys i have done a lot of research i have spent a lot of time i've spent a lot of days helping you out to sort you on your visa checklist please give a big thumbs up and if you like this video please go comment below and i would really appreciate your efforts and see you guys in the next video